If you know everything about social listening, this video is not for you. Hey guys, welcome back to this week's video. Thank you so much for tuning in as usual. Please like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be notified when new videos are posted, which is about every week uh, or so. So thank you again for being here today. Today we're talking about social listening. Now I know we've been talking about this for years and if you are an expert, I, I would say give me five minutes and let's see if you don't learn something new. Today we're gonna talk about the importance of segmenting different channels when listening to conversations. All right, that's the first piece of this video. The second half, which will be a different video, will be why it's important. We're gonna talk about these economics of supply and demand, where demand are the topics and stories and trends that are demanding the attention of your various audiences. All right, so we're looking at a Brandwatch dashboard, and I call it the AI multi-segment audience analysis dashboard. It is a dashboard where we're looking at the topic of artificial intelligence and we're looking at several different channels that are discussing it. Um, and so if you watch my cursor, you'll see there is a Reddit tab, there's an audiences tab and a media tab. And so we're gonna look at each of these individually, but right now we're first on the Reddit tab and that is because I'm looking at two different subreddits where they are talking about artificial intelligence. And so I label them here, I'm gonna use my mouse again, I label them here r slash artificial, r slash artificial intelligence. Now, what those numbers represent are total users. So the subreddit on the left is 146,000 users. The subreddit on the right is 58,000 users, okay? What's interesting about all this is that the number of mentions and unique authors over the last 30 days are pretty much the same, despite the size of each subreddit. So I just thought that was interesting. I'm gonna do a little bit more analysis to see how active some of these users are. Again, many people just lurk and consume content. Not everybody is necessarily publishing content, which is kind of a natural behavior on online and social media anyway. If we scroll down a little bit, again, everything on the left is one subreddit, everything on the right is another subreddit. And so what's interesting about this is if you look at this topic wheel, okay, so this is Brandwatch's way of categorizing content into subtopics and themes based on volume. And so if I were to look at just the content on the left, I see that AI is obviously a large topic of conversation. I mean, this is an AI subreddit, but then also learning, YouTube, artificial intelligence, and video. You can actually hover over these to see more of these, uh, the, the actual language and the words. You can also click on some of these as well to see what else is being said about the topic of AI. And so, you know, you can see here there's technology, research, machines, humans, pretty solid kind of analysis, right, based on what one particular subreddit is saying. If you compare that to the other subreddit on the right, you'll see that there are some similarities, but there are also some differences. You have things like code and models as being, as being separate. And I just thought that, that it was interesting. Now, if you were to look at this at both subreddits uh, together, I, you know, there, it would probably be some mesh of you know, YouTube research models, and you wouldn't necessarily find some of these nuggets around code implementation, as an example. They're referencing some type of GitHub project as well, um, and then some of these other topics. Now, looking down here on the at this other kind of visualization, this is a different way of visualizing the data. It's kind of based on the same um, uh, algorithms where it's volume based. But if you hover over some of these, you can see, you know, there's a topic of AI, obviously. Deep learning is a large topic. Machine learning looks like they're referencing some type of study by Google, right? It's a quick read, apparently. And then human beings. Okay, that's everything on the left. On the right, you have, again, some similarities and, and some that are unique. You have machine learning, deep learning, but then you have algorithms for empathy, right? That is something that is unique to this particular subreddit. So this is one example of why it's important to not even just look at Reddit as a, as a large kind of channel, right? But pulling in data specific to one subreddit. All right, so now we're on this second tab we called AI audiences. And in this case, we're doing an audience analysis where we built two different audiences, uh, one, the top 1,000 AI influencers on the left and the top 1,000 analysts on the right. Now, the AI influencers is a culmination of technologists, journalists, and there are some analysts in there as well. And the one, the audience on the right, these are the top analysts from Forrester, Gartner, uh, Constellation Research, some of the second and third tier, um, you know, analyst firms as well. 
and you can see that the the influencers are a lot more active if you just take a look at these total mentions you know 4,000 mentions over the last 30 days by 300 unique authors on the right you have 260 mentions by only 47 unique authors so if we scroll down to look at some of the kind of the core topics they're discussing you can see that they're very different right you have things on the left like IOT data science ethics and robotics as as large topics of conversation from these AI influencers on the right you have things like disruptive technology AI technology analytics kind of the new market or you see you know some of the subtopics say cloud new release supernova awards these are things that the analysts are talking about and it kind of makes sense right the analysts are giving up like a larger perspective of the AI market so they're going to be talking about the market they're going to talk about you know new technologies that are disrupting business etc and on the right it's a little bit more in the weeds right they're talking about things that are important to business as well but more you know topical based as it relates to ai such as iot data science and ethics so again we're looking at two different audiences both have a thousand members and we're looking at the conversation as it relates to ai and the the topics around ai or what i would call the context of ai is completely different from one another so again this is why it's important that when you are listening to conversations you segment it by channel in this case we looked at two different subreddits and on this on this tab we're looking at two different audiences okay so on this tab we are looking at two specific media publications on the left we're looking at Forbes on the right we're looking at a AI authority and just a quick synopsis shows me that that Forbes has written about AI over the last 30 days 178 times and AI authority over the last 30 days has written it 300 times notice the differences in unique authors you have 113 different authors and columnists and contributors on the right you have seven okay so I just thought that was an interesting difference between these two publications but the differences don't stop there if you look at this at the topic wheel here you can see that on the left you have everything from larger topics like business and marketing and then of course artificial intelligence is a subtopic of artificial intelligence not sure why why it says that but on the right then you have things like cloud provider solutions technology and you know to me on the right and just because I know AI authority it's a very kind of in the weeds specific you know they're talking about code and technology and they're kind of like you know peeling back the onion several layers whereas Forbes is more about thought leadership right it's like where's the market going why is this important to business how to use AI in marketing etc so that's why in, in, in this case and for those of you who work in PR this is like a gold mine for you because you know you you can now understand Forbes and say you know if you have an AI story for a client that you're representing you can begin to piece it and, and align it to some of these topics that they are already talking about okay it's a matter of being relevant all right so I hope that demonstration was helpful I just want to reiterate and drill down on, on just a few more things before we conclude our time today you know if you're in, working in PR and you're looking at the landscape right you can look at one media publication as we just did or you can look at a set of publications like you know the top 10 business publications versus the top 10 tech publications and I guarantee you that every publication that you're looking at has a different spin right there's a different there's different context that certain journalists are are using because it's a passion point that's what they care about that's what they see in the market so that's what they're writing about and so understanding what they're saying and those stories that are demanding their intention is very important for you uh, so that in, in order to do that you have to look at the media separately right you cannot do an analysis and look at you know blogs forums media and everything else right and because there's no insights there yeah they're talking about this yeah they're talking about that but what about it what is the context of that conversation so when you separate it by different audiences or different channels like reddit and subreddit or even at the media publication level you will only get more specific insights that in my opinion are very very actionable so in the next video we're going to talk about why this is important and I'm going to talk to you about the economics of supply and demand and how to use data and analytics to understand those stories and trends that are demanding the attention of your audience so until I see until then have a great rest of your week and uh, stay safe stay healthy and I'll talk to you soon